Hello, welcome back to my workshop. Right, so in this video what I'm going to be mostly doing is brazing these two bits together, uh, which we'll come back to in a, uh, in a minute. Um, and uh, as Mr Factorum Kevin correctly noticed, uh, I might be working on to make a boiler, and uh, I will be. I'm going to start off because it's a fun little thing that you can make for people. Making that one, that is poly, out of Tubal Cane's building simple model steam engines. But before we get to that, what I'm just going to do is show you the three different torches that you get, which I didn't really show last time. So here is flame one, this is the flame that comes fitted. <laughs> And you can see that's a reasonably broad flame. Take that off. Then we have the littlest torch, which is this one, which has a tiny, tiny, tiny little flame. You can just see there how it's, uh, it's an interesting flame, but it's also not the one I'm going to be using today. What I'm going to be using today is this one. And this one, but something else I didn't show is this does lock on, so if I put that, push that, push that back, and then press to release. Right, however, not the main purpose of the video. So what I've done is I have pre-mixed some um, flux and what we're going to do is I'm just going to go and stick some oops, that flux damp enough let's just see some flux around there that's a bit a little bit dry. Oh, something I didn't say is, is it's not quite actually before I do that, let me show you something. Let me just wipe that off. And it actually gets a little bit more water in there. Something I meant to show is if I put that down there over the top. That looks nice, but if you look carefully, I don't know if you can see that. No, you can't. Hold on. Let's see if I can. You can just see it's a little bit gappy there. So it's not not a perfect fit. Let's just see how we can get that in. Right, chuck a little bit more water in there. Grab some water. a better looking paste. Right, I'm just going to put a little bit of this on around here and the idea is, is, is that the brazing rod, and we're going to braze this rather than solder it, should flow where the brazing, where the flux is. And it is all nice and clean. We'll 
what you don't want to do is go skimpy on the flux or but you don't want it in lots of places you don't want the whatever it is you're using as your soldering medium to flow because you don't want your soldering medium dragged through everywhere so let's now go and put those two together There we go. Let's get the torch out, get the gloves on first. It should be a quick process. I'm not expecting this to take long because I can get the uh, work up quite quickly but what I am going to do is gently heat it first to dry off the flux. You see that didn't take long to get that up to temperature. With a bit of luck and a following wind, that has dropped all the way through. We're about to find out. Gently pick it up. that's copper that would have cooled down fairly instantly you can see a big lump of hold on let me get that torch back out right you can see a massive lump has dropped down But you can also see, as I look around, a brace has run down pretty much all the way down to there. And we have a good joint. So there we go. Brazing copper is easy peasy lemon squeezy. Um, one thing I would say, by the way, do not think of brazing copper pipe in a domestic or commercial plumbing situation because A, you really don't need stuff that will stand 900 degrees and B, plumbing tends to run um, in a lot and if you heat up one end of... if I heated one end of this pipe, this is 15mm pipe, hot enough to braze at this end this end wouldn't be far below it and it would set fire to whatever building it was in. So don't be thinking that brazing torches, brazing uh, copper uh, in a domestic situation, plumbing situation is a good idea. Right, well I'm happy with that, that's all worked. 
boiler coming at some point. Um, also a boiler for a 5 inch gauge uh, 040 um, contractors engine uh, for which I have the original drawings. Um, if you'd like to see that, leave us a comment. Uh, that will be coming at some point. Um, I have to say, you're probably going to see it anyway, but there you go. Thank you for watching. Please like, please share, please subscribe. And questions and comments welcome.